Okay, so now we're back and I just um, loaded the completely synced blockchain into the app data roaming file. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to launch the node again and you're going to see it. It's going to connect a lot quicker and you'll see the message that you get once your blockchain is fully synced and it will give you the message that it's synced and it's okay to go ahead and launch the simple wallet and once you've got the simple wallet open you know it's gonna have you for the first time generate a new wallet address um, it's gonna supply you with a private viewing code um, okay so it's just connected and it actually shows you the block that it's on um, 383,000 856 there's about 234 blocks that have been added in the time that it's taking me to just stop the video and go ahead and load up my fully synced blockchain um, again you'll begin to see that it's downloading the blocks around 100 blocks at a time this time uh, we're beyond all the checkpoints so it's gonna um, sync at a little bit slower pace but you know not too fast not too slow it's a couple more seconds probably with the next um, batch of blocks we'll see that message that tells us that we are fully synced there we have the message now that says you're now synchronized with the network we can go ahead and launch simple wallet so at this point what we're going to do is double click the simple wallet and when you do that you will get these options which are open an existing wallet generate a new wallet file or you can import a wallet file and you always want to close this out with exit um, if you just go ahead and you click the red X um, you're gonna have to resync all the information again that's just only gonna make things take a little bit longer you don't really want to have to deal with any delays so for the first time I'm going to type G press enter and we're going to name this wallet you can give it any name that you like I'm just gonna call it I don't know wild enter and then it's gonna ask you to create a password for this and you wanna make sure that you remember this password and it gives it a timestamp and soon it will go ahead and populate a wallet address for you and there it just generated the new wallet address I don't know if you can see all that here got a cut off and this view key is something that you're gonna keep for actual your own use um, you're gonna see another sync kind of like the first one that we saw in our daemon but this is actually synchronizing the simple wallet and it usually goes a little bit faster but you know this could take a while because this is the very first time that we have opened this wallet address oh, that's pretty cool I saw that in NAC okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna just do some setup um, on this while this sync is occurring I may pause the video and we'll come back with a different wallet I just don't want to have to wait until that synchronizes um, but in the meantime what we're gonna do is we're gonna click these options and we're gonna go to properties and once you're in properties we're going to go to the options and you're gonna make sure that these two radio buttons have a check mark in it and the reason for that is well I'll go back and I will uncheck those buttons and you cannot copy or paste anything here and if those addresses they're pretty long so if you're trying to send someone 10 knickknack coins you don't want to have to type that address out I mean obviously it kind of creates a situation where you can mistype and send coins to some destination you don't want to send and those coins are gone no way to get them back so we're going to actually enable this 
so that we can copy and paste now once we have that radio button selected we can go ahead and we can highlight things now we can go back to the top and right arrow edit and we can copy that you know we can open up a notepad and we can paste it so that's a really helpful tool you want to go ahead and when you're dealing with these CLI wallets you want to go ahead and make sure that you have those two radio buttons selected in the properties so you have this feature available to you um, I'm gonna go ahead and close that out because we have this synced a lot quicker than I thought so what I am going to do at this point is I'm gonna go back to simple wallet and you see the actual text folder for my wallet address and I'm going to launch a second wallet address and I'm going to create a new one and I'm gonna call this I don't know stone give it a password press enter and stone now has a wallet address and I'm going to actually highlight that and I am going to copy it because I'm going to send some test coins to this address so that later we can use a video and we could show um, sending and receiving coins so I, just for me um, I'll use that later on in separate videos but on this um, we've launched our daemon now we've launched simple wallet we've generated our wallet address to send and receive coins another option that we have available to us is help and when you type help and press enter it gives you all of the options that are available to you such as address obviously if you want to see your address hey send me some knickknack coins I don't know what my wallet address is hey I'll go ahead and launch my simple wallet type address there it is another place where you can get that pretty quickly is in your wallet file you can go ahead and select the wallet that you want them to send the coins to double click and hey there's my wallet address there also so two places that you can obtain your wallet address to send and receive coins and the help option actually shows the different options that are available to you now with simple wallet launched um, going back to our daemon you actually have the help option there as well and it lists the different options that are available under the daemon so pretty cool you've got that help there if you need it we have our wallet just about set up there's one thing that we need to do to mine knickknack coins we need to set up our miner so we're going to go back to our notepad and we're going to put in a command to launch the miner and what we'll need is a wallet address to send the coins to and right here where it says address goes here I'm just going to paste that address and so this is the minor application this is mining through the local host with port 31740 sending all coins to this wallet address threads is the number of CPUs that are available to your machine you don't have to use them all this machine has four cores so I can mine on all four um, if you do that though it's gonna make the machine operate a little bit slower than usual so if you're going to browse the internet or do other things um, using all of your CPUs is definitely gonna slow down the performance of that computer so you can select any number up to the maximum of the CPUs that you have on your machine and the log file is anywhere from one to five um, it's going to show you different information available so at this point 
I am going to go ahead and save as and I'm going to call this minor dot B A T and on the save as type I'm going to select all save so now I can go ahead and double click this miner and it begins to mine the network to try and solve blocks um, it gives some pretty important information why I set the lock to 5 it tells us the network difficulty which is 77,243 so that's 77,243 hashes until it creates an ounce to solve a block and you'll be rewarded with the block reward for solving that so we've now set up our daemon we set up simple wallet and we set up our miner and we are now mining knickknack coins on the network so I'm just gonna go ahead and close that out and stop the video here um, what I'll do is I'll post more videos about sending coins receiving coins and also working with the daemon because the name is pretty important it's an actual explorer so you don't have to use a third-party explorer there's an actual onboard explorer for you to check certain things on the block so I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video here I'm gonna send some test coins to that wallet address that I just created and I'll start a new video on uh, you know just looking at some transactions and we'll also look at that in the daemon explorer so that's about it for this video thanks for tuning in and make sure you watch the rest of the videos